Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. I'm here at the Leaky Cauldron with Julie, my friend Julie, and we are going to try all seven Butterbeers. Start off with the original. Okay. The soda. Start with the original soda. Gotta love the beautiful mustache. <laughs> so it's classic butter beer. This is the only butter beer you can purchase that's carbonated. It's also cold. It's delicious as ever. The first one that I ever drank was was the cold version. Me too. Yeah. yeah. So very good butter beer. Frozen. Frozen. Um, <laughs> it's quite it's very, very refreshing. The only thing I don't like about the frozen is that, I mean, it's delicious. The flavor's there. You, you have to use a straw, and the straw goes past the foam. So, and then you, yeah. Yeah. So the only way to get foam is like to go like this, <laughs> to stick it into the straw and then take a sip. The foam is the best The foam part. is the best part. I mean, you could mix it up, but I guess... It saves the foam for last. Find <laughs> the silver lining to that, right? Here is the hot. The hot is just creamy looking, deliciousness, and it's seasonal. So you can only get it in the colder months. It's definitely worth a try if you can get it. And I know it's hot here in the Wizarding World in Orlando, but if you're here during those winter months, those cold months, definitely try it at least once. Butterbeer is supposed to just warm every part of you when you drink it. Yeah, so it's probably true with the hot when it's a cold day. Yeah, and in the canon, it is hot. Very good. A Very lot more rich. creamy. Yeah, rich, creamy. A little bit of a different flavor than the, the frozen and the cold butterbeer. Definitely. It's a little more milky. It sits a little heavier yeah, when you drink it. It does. Too. So those were the three drinkable butterbeer options that you can have. And the hot is only seasonal, so you can get it only in the winter months, the cold months. Yeah, it's like what, November to like March sometimes? It's, it varies. Yeah. It varies. But if you see it, get it, because it's a rare drink in the wizarding world. Get it while it's hot! <laughs> Next up are the two ice cream options you can purchase. You can get the soft serve butter beer and the pre-packaged, it's more like a hard ice cream in butter beer flavor. Uh, wow. One more spoonful. You're right. <laughs> Just a spoonful of butter beer. It's so, so good. It's very creamy, very rich, flavorful. It's more like a frozen whipped cream than uh, than a vanilla ice cream. I, I would definitely agree. Okay. It's, it's very rich. It's creamy. Yeah. Very, very creamy. Just I would say just like a, like a whipped cream. All of these options are very, very sweet. So if you don't like sweet things, maybe share it with, with a friend. On to the soft serve. Cheers. Mm. Uh, now with the soft serve, it tastes a little more like soft serve vanilla ice cream. And the pre-packaged has a more whipped cream, frozen whipped cream sort of flavor or texture. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'm You're good. Keep eating while you keep talking. Eat up, eat up. Of the two ice creams, I think that the soft serve tastes more Butterscotch and more butter beer. Yeah, no, I agree. Me. I agree. Yeah, definitely has a more butter beer flavor. All right, so we have two left. We have the potted cream, and we have the butter beer fudge. The potted cream has a little dollop of whipped cream on top, and, and it's yeah. in a really cute jar. Yeah. Potted cream is 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 more of a custard than a pudding. And this is the sweetest one of all of these options so far. Yeah. Very good. Very sweet. It is good though. Yeah. All right, last but not least is the butter beer fudge. It has three layers. It has a, a lighter layer, a darker layer, and then like a, a crumble layer at the bottom. Layer, layer, layer. It took me a little while to get the butter beer flavor. This is the least butter beer flavored of all of these so far in my opinion. It's really good. Yeah, it is very good. 
but different. Very different. Within the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you can purchase the fudge at Honey Dukes in Hogsmeade and Sugar Plum in Diagon Alley. As for the ice creams, you can only get the hard version or pre-packaged version in Hogsmeade. The soft serve you can only get in Diagon Alley. You can get the soft version at Florian Fortescue's and also the Hopping Pot. Not a lot of people know that you can purchase it at the Hopping Pot. So our three drinkable butter beers here, we have the hot during the cold seasons, as we mentioned. You can get the cold butter beer at Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley anytime. And you can get the frozen butter beer in both Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley. And the cool thing is, if you get a souvenir cup for any of them, each park has their own souvenir cup. So the Diagon Alley one kind of has a dip in the bottom, and the one in Hogsmeade is more of just like a tankard, like the traditional cup. Least favorite of these seven options. Least favorite, I would have to go with the potted cream. The flavor is so strong, it doesn't really have a butterbeer taste, more of just like a butterscotch, like in your face, just overwhelming feeling. My number seven would be the fudge. I don't love the crumble on the bottom. I think it takes away from the butterbeer flavor, but this would be my number seven. Number six. Hmm. Number six would have to be... What? The cold! I'm in shock right now. <laughs> I don't like carbonation. Okay. Even when I get sodas, I will shake the sodas. Okay. To because I don't like yeah. carbonation. So that is why the cold is out for me. I forgive you. <laughs> My number six would be the potted cream. As Julie said, it's it's not very butterbeery. It's just like a custard almost with some whipped cream on top and some light butterscotch flavoring on top. Number five for me is the hard packed ice cream. Simply because the soft serve is far better in taste in my opinion. You can hand that to me, I agree. It's my <laughs> number five as well uh, for very similar reasons. It's just not as flavorful or creamy even. Even though it has more of a whipped cream texture, it's not as creamy as the soft serve. Number four. Number four for me is gonna be the fudge. I love the fudge, but the other options that we haven't named yet are far better. My number four would be the hot butterbeer. <laughs> At least it's not my number six. But you're a cold oh, number shots six. Fired. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because it's more like a hot flavored milk. Just don't love it. This is getting down to the nitty gritty. Number three for me is going to be the soft serve ice cream. If you are going to experience butter beer once, one time, say so you can only come here once, I would say to get it as a drink. Absolutely. That is why. I almost agree. Almost. almost. <laughs> My number three is the frozen. I and because the cold just far outweighs the frozen in my opinion. I love the cold, I love the carbonation, I'm like Julie. Whoa! And the foam, back to what I said about the foam, you get the foam with every sip, but with the frozen, you have to either mix it up within the slush underneath or wait until the end to drink the foam. And I love the ice cream. <laughs> Number two for me is the hot butter beer. I think it's very special that it's it's seasonal. It's you know it's harder to get than the others, but I just can't say it's at the top. And that's okay. My number two is the soft serve ice cream because if I had to choose between soft serve or cold butter beer, I would absolutely go with the cold butter beer. The flavors there, the the smoothness of the soft serve. It's really, really good soft serve ice cream. And if you have the opportunity to eat it, get this. Absolutely. And number uno. one. <laughs> you like the frozen, and I like the cold. Cheers. Cheers. Those are the seven butterbeer options that you can try at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando, Florida. If you have tried any of these butterbeers before, I would love to hear what your favorites are. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please leave a comment down below. You can also find me on Instagram at the Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep, keep collecting! collecting. 
thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go? Give me this ice cream.